Hey everyone and once again welcome to WS Script Tech English channel. Myself Omar Taskir. Guys, in this particular video, we are basically going to talk about the placements options which are there in Facebook ad. Guys, Facebook placements option can be a good tool for us if we use them strategically, right? So guys, as you can see on my laptop screen, first of all, we are going to see that what are placements option and where we are going to find these options within Facebook ads system and how to implement them or how to see the reports regarding Facebook. So all these things we will be discussing in this particular video so let's begin and let's straight away come to this create option and from here let me select the traffic as our campaign objective and let us click on this continue so first of all let me tell you the placements options or setting up a placements option you get these kind of options at this ad set level right so when you are at this ad set level over here and you scroll down scroll down and you come to this placement section over here you can see you have two kind of uh, placement selection option over here one is automated placements which one is recommended by Facebook? Uh, but I will never recommend you to follow anything blindly. Please do uh, understand what does this automatic placement means and then act accordingly, according to your requirements. Because most of the settings in Facebook ads or uh, Google ads are such that they basically uh, want you to spend more money, right? They want to take out money from your pocket. That is their main purpose. So uh, when we go with automatic placements option, which means that whatever placement options are available within Facebook ads, your ad will be shown to all those uh, placements, right? To all those placements. So, so it is very obvious if your ad is shown on multiple placements, there are high chances that your budget will get exhausted or you will, you will have to spend high budget, right? So that is why they are basically recommending you automatic placements but you have to research properly that whether this automatic placement is actually useful for you or not right because when we select this automatic placements it's all about the budget we need high budget right in comparison to manual placement so uh, we have different placements option the four major options that we have over here as you can see as we move to this manual placement you can see over here we have platforms and then we have four settings over here which says Facebook as platform, right? You can select Facebook as platform. So then you have Instagram as placements option over here. You have audience network and you have messenger. So all these three, uh, three products which you see over here or three platform that you see over here are basically Facebook's own product. But the audience network over here is not Facebook's product, right? So we have four platforms over here and according to those four platform, we are having different placements. I will discuss about these placements also, but first of all, let us come back over here and discuss more about this automatic placements and manual placements. So what Facebook is saying, use automatic placements to maximize your budget and help show your ads to more people, right? So they are saying that your audience is available on different, different platforms. So go and show your ads over there, but that will basically need higher budget, right? Uh, Facebook delivery system will allocate your ad sets budget across multiple placements based on where they are more likely to perform. So it is totally into Facebook's control now when you go for automated placements or automatic placements. Facebook will decide that whether your ad will get more impressions in Facebook feed or whether your ad will get more placements in Instagram feed. Accordingly, Facebook will decide and Facebook will place your creative over there, right? So this is how automatic placements works. And when we talk about the manual placement, we have all kind of control over here. So first of all, we have control over here uh, with regards to devices also. What we can do is we can go ahead and select uh, edit over here and then we can select our devices. So if we want to show our ads on mobile only, we can select mobile only. If we want to show our ads on desktop only, we can, uh, we can select desktop only, right? Or we can select both the things. So I'll recommend you to go for both the things. Do not put filter over here at this device level, but you can definitely go ahead and put your filter over here at these platforms level, right? So you have option of selecting Facebook, Instagram, audience network or messenger. And within Facebook also, you have other options that whether you want to show your ad on Facebook feeds. Okay, let me tell you, if I deselect all these three other options and, and let Facebook be the only option over here, then we have placements like feed, if we want to show our ads on Facebook feeds, if we want to show our ads on Facebook stories, in Facebook in stream, which is like whenever we see ads within the Facebook videos, which we see, right? Then if we want to show our ads on Facebook search, in Facebook articles, so we have all these different options along with this. We have other option, which is basically narrowing down. So we can select specific mobile devices and operating systems if we want to run ads accordingly. So if we go ahead and select edit, so you can see we have other options also. Like if we want to show our ads on only Android device, we have this option and within Android device, we can select 
are different devices we can include different devices we can select a model over here right so this is something like narrowing down right narrowing down at a greater level which definitely i will not recommend you right so i'm not recommending you about these uh, all devices uh, uh filter over here and then again narrowing down on these basis right so i'm not uh, i'm not into favor of uh, this thing but definitely i will recommend you to go with these platforms option if you want to run your ads on only instagram right as instagram story what you can do is you can go ahead and select instagram over here and then you can select stories over here now this setting will show your ads on instagram stories only so you can create the creatives accordingly you can create the creatives which follow the dimensions of instagram stories and then you can show your ads to your respective audience so this is how the placements and platforms options work together you have platforms over here and then you have placements over here so we have different locations in each and every platform and we can customize on the basis of those placements or we can show our ads according to the placements uh, that is what we can do right so this is again a very handy option. but yes we also need to see some insight so if we go ahead and click on this breakdown over here you can see this uh, delivery option right and as soon as you will come down you will see platform option over here right so you can now see the insights of your campaign according to the platform right if we select this thing so since we are not running uh, any campaign from last seven days what we have to do is we have to select lifetime so that we can actually see some data over here right so as soon as we selected lifetime you can see over here we have facebook instagram over here. and now we have the data of performance with regards to these two placements over here right so we have facebook instagram again facebook instagram so in most of the cases where the facebook's audience network was turned off we are having only data of facebook and instagram as platform right now what we can do is we can go ahead and select delivery once again and then we have platform and device option also we have placement and device option also and we have placement option also so now we are going ahead and selecting the placement option now you can see we have individual placement level uh insight so you can see over here on facebook in news feed from desktop we got almost uh, zero impression. So here we are seeing only one impression. Now, if we talk about uh, the platform as Facebook and placement as newsfeed and device as mobile app, right? So from mobile app in Facebook newsfeed, we got pretty good. Uh, we got pretty good impressions. We got 501 impressions. But let us also look at the cost per result where we are having higher cost per result and where we are having lower cost per result, right? This is what we can analyze and this is what will help us in figuring out that which platform from which placement and which device is performing well in our niche in this particular time period and how can we utilize that insight and how can we actually optimize our campaigns on the basis of these platforms and placement settings that we have and on the basis of the platform and placements data that we are seeing right now so that's it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye